Right now we're cleaning the equipment to brew beer. Now we're taking our smack pack of yeast and breaking the little packet inside. You gotta shake it up real good to get it activated. We've got our water, we're heating it up, getting that up to about 160 degrees. So this the bag is totally busted now. You can see how much it's actually starting to expand. You shake it up every once in a while and let it keep it expanding. It's like magic. Okay. Uh, this is all together. Just start soaking. And this is an all grain batch, so there's no extracts. Yeah, it's gonna be close. Ooh, that water. Oh, is it gonna overflow? Nope. Wow. And it'll actually go down a little bit more as it keeps soaking. Now how long is this going to be in here for? 30 minutes. So we steep the grains for 30 minutes. It's like steeping a giant bag of tea. It's really the easiest way to look at it. And just like tea is temperature specific, so is beer. So you want to make sure your water's holding the temperature that it needs to stay at. Now we're going to remove the grains and drain them. I'm not supposed to squeeze, but basically just want to get caught there. Set that right there. Let them kind of drain on their own. It soaked up a lot of that water. It went from 6.5 gallons to like four and three quarters. So there's a lot to recover here. Just waiting. So now we're just draining the grain or the water from the grains. We started off with six and a half gallons and now we're at about mm, five gallons. So we've got about a gallon and a half or so that have soaked up in here. We need to uh, try and recover as much of that as possible because what will happen is once we uh, steep and boil the, the wort, we'll actually burn off about one and a half gallons. Okay, so now we need to bring this whole thing to a boil. So once we get up to temperature, or right before the boil, actually, the wort rapidly rises. I think we're about there, folks. I think we're about there. Oh, yep, yeah, there you go. You can see it all. Maybe you can't. I don't know. It's trying to focus. The rolling boil. Caught it right before it started boiling over. So now that we have got the wort to a boil, we're gonna take our cluster hops, put it in our hop sock. You don't have to put it in a hop sock, but I don't like my beer to be too hoppy, so I like to remove the leftover hops at the end. And that's what the hops are for. We're gonna put this in at the 60 minute boil, and then at 30 minutes left on the boil, we will add the other hops. Okay, now we're draining our hop sock and going to chill the wort.
pitching the yeast. Now we're putting the lid on and the beer is going to sit for two weeks while it ferments. Now we're cleaning the keg. Okay, so now we're going to siphon the beer from our primary fermenter, which is also our secondary fermenter, into the keg. So is there a difference between beer you can keg and beer you can put in a bottle? No, you can bottle and keg beer in a single batch. So you could, I could take half of this batch and keg it and the other half bottle it and it's totally the same. You just have to make sure you put your priming sugar in the bottles so it carbonates. So how many beers will this make? This will make roughly about 50 bottles. It's five gallons of beer. So five gallons of beer translates roughly to like 52 and a half bottles, depending on how much beer you end up with at the bottom here. But you don't want to pick all this up from the bottom because you end up with all this extra sediment in your keg and in your bottles and nobody wants that. So now, what I realized I did differently last time, and what I'm doing differently this time, is that the more, the warmer the beer, the more pressure is needed to get the beer to carbonate. So if you cool the beer first, and then you pressurize it, it carbonates with a lot less pressure, and it works a little bit faster. So the beer is probably 68, 70 degrees right now because it's been in the fermenter in the living room. And this fridge is between 39, 40 degrees. So we're going to cool the beer for the next 24, 48 hours and then we will add the carbonation. Two weeks later, the beer is ready, and now we're gonna drink it. I hope y'all like and learned something from this video. If you try your hand at brewing beer, let us know how it goes, or comment below if you have any questions. Be sure to subscribe and like our videos, and check out our channel for more DIY videos. I'll see y'all next time. Sancho.